Hey guys, welcome to another interesting, very, very interesting video. Now, I've been planning for this video since the time MIUI 13 came out, but we did a side by side comparison. And then I thought that, you know, let's give it a couple of more days. Let's have a few more builds and then we can probably go ahead and talk about a side by side speed test. Now, there are a lot of factors that could vary in such a test. And I have tried my best to create lab like conditions. These are two Mi 11X Indian devices with six gigabyte RAM. And after the intro, I'll tell you all the other information. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already well please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this if you think you like chatting with like-minded people well please join us on telegram you have more than 1500 members over there you can follow us on instagram twitter and facebook and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going All right, so let's talk about the test setup first. Now to the right, we have the Indian MIUI 12.5.7 global stable, non-rooted on an unlocked bootloader. To the left, we have MIUI 13.0.2 stable China edition based on Android 12 and the Indian version is Android 11. Now the Chinese version over here is rooted because of course without root you're not able to get 120 Hertz and all the other features working and we do have a refresh rate option enabled over here. Now the Indian version is at 80% this one is at 86% so more or less similar amount of battery percentage and even if you look at the brightness on both of them you know it's more or less the same. You have similar amount of applications although this is a personal device of my friend so this might have a few applications more but what we've done over here is we've cleared everything from the memory so what we're going to do is we're first going to do a reboot test right in which i'll reboot the devices together and then we will launch all the applications one by one and then we will do a memory test and to the last we will compare the benchmark numbers. So that should give us a pretty good hint. Now, the reason I have refresh rates enabled over here is because you can keep an eye while I run the speed test through different scenarios, different applications, different screens. How frequently does the refresh rate change? Because from 12 to 13, I think they might have made some changes to the dynamic refresh rate. Although right now, both of them are on 60 Hertz. So without further ado, let's begin the speed test. And the first test that we are going to do is we are going to reboot both the devices and you can see the memory on both of them 3.2 gigabytes free on miui 13 and 3 gigabytes free on miui 12.5.7 over here right so press and hold power and press and hold power okay so reboot and okay so it's time to reboot both the devices together so three two one Okay, we were able to do it at the exact time. Now let's see which device boots up first. The 12.5.7 is still struggling. All right, so MIUI 13 is the winner. MIUI 13 has clearly gone ahead and rebooted quickly, although the difference might be 0.1 seconds over here, right? So the first test definitely goes to MIUI 13. So after the reboot, you do see that uh, MIUI 12.5.7 has 3.4 gigabytes of available RAM and 13 has three gigabytes, okay? So let's go to the main screen over here. Now the boot test is done. Now we're going to start launching apps from here through here. Okay. So three, two, one. Okay. 13 doing it a little early there. CPU throttle test three, two, one. This one launched it early today. YouTube over here, three, two, one. Okay, once again, 12.5.7 taking the win. Spotify, three, two, one. Okay, once again, 12.5.7 making it fast. Now we're coming to games, okay? BGMI, three, two, one. So for some reason, 12.5.7 uh, registered the touch a little late. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. Let's see here. 13 would be launching it faster, I believe. 
12.5.7 is catching up. Okay, we do have the launch on 13 first. So as far as BGMI is concerned, 13 wins. Now we're talking about subway surface over here. So three, two, one. Let's see here. Okay, 13 taking the cake once again. Now Among Us, three, two, one. The animation on both the OS's are a little different. That's a little weird. Uh, these are going to be close. Yeah, I will say this is a tie, not not much of a difference over here. So now we go to a benchmark application called Antutu. So let's go to Antutu here. Three, two, one. Twelve point five point seven is definitely registering the touches a little late in some applications. I don't know why. Okay. Now let's go to gallery. Three, two, one. Okay. Similar timings. File manager, three, two, one. Similar timings. You cannot distinguish much. Security application, three, two, one. Same timing. Now we have the tools over here. As you can see, the animation is pretty much similar. So we won't be launching all the applications in here. But let's go to the phone app. Now this is a Google dialer. This is a MIA dialer. So three, two, one. Okay, thirteen did it fast this time. So Google messages here and MIUI messages three, two, one. Okay, similar timings. Chrome three, two, one. Okay, MIUI thirteen loaded the page much faster here. Camera application three, two, one. Again, thirteen winning there. Now we are going to look at applications in memory. So let's go to the multitasking menu. You can see that animation is different, and these things are different over here. So let's start with Geekbench over here. Let's see if it is still in memory. It is. Okay, and then uh, CPU throttle test. Not reloading there. Okay. YouTube test still in memory on both the devices. Good job. Next up, Spotify, still in memory. Good job. We come to games now. BGMI, reloading on both of them. No, twelve point five point seven had it in memory. Thirteen is reloading it, which is really really weird. Let's see here. Let's go to the home screen here, and let's go to Subway Surfers this time. Okay, so. MIUI twelve point five point seven seems to have better memory management, which is really really shocking. Okay, now let's move to Antutu. Okay, reloading on both the devices. Now let's move to Gallery. Not reloading. Now move to System Applications File Manager. Sort of reloading on both of them. And Security. Reloading on MIUI 13, so memory management phone not reloading. These light applications are not reloading. Messages not reloading, and what we have here, Chrome, bam, Chrome is in memory as well. So memory management definitely is better on MIUI 12.5.7 over here, which is not surprising because. Understand, thirteen is yet to get optimized, but in terms of app launch speeds, I did see a slight improvement in MIUI thirteen in some applications. Not all of them, but some applications. Now let's quickly go ahead and see the memory over here. One point nine GB of six GB available. Two point nine GB of six GB available. Okay, now there are two things to talk about over here. One, this has one whole gigabyte of extra memory. Both the devices have memory extension enabled. But what this also means is, twelve point five point seven. Remember, twelve point five point seven had more apps in memory, so it is doing a better job at memory management and keeping apps in memory. You have free RAM over here, which will probably mean that you'll have more smoothness. But most of the applications over here will reload on MIUI thirteen. So as you can clearly see, these two OSs don't look that different. But under the hood, the you know science behind memory management and the usage of the operating system has changed so much that is really really interesting. Now let's go quickly go ahead and talk about the benchmark numbers over here. We will talk about the CPU throttle test screenshot first. All right. Now on MIUI 13, CPU throttle to 89 percent. On 12.5.7, 91. 
the score average was 225 972 on 13 and on 12.5.7 221 886 so some improvement but throttled higher over here now let's actually go to n2 to benchmark on both the devices 13608032 and 12.5.7675401 now there is a catch over here I tried to run two more benchmarks. The initial score was 680,000 on this one. Unfortunately, I don't have a screenshot. So this did score around 5,000 points more compared to MIR 12.5.7. Now let's talk about Geekbench runs over here. Let's see here. So 955.2883 and 955.3038. So the multi-core score is clearly better over here. So even in benchmarks, most of the time MIR 13 is doing better. As far as speed test in terms of app launch speeds is concerned, MIR 13 is again doing slightly better there. But the only place where MIR 12.5.7 is winning is the memory management. So all in all, if you ask me, you know, side by side comparison, you know, app launch animations and things like those scrolling 13 looks better and 13 has a very, very marginal, you know, lead over MIR 12.5.7. And if this gets this amount of memory management of keeping apps in memory and stuff, things will be much better. So yes, MIUI 13 is definitely an improvement when it comes to performance, but not a huge improvement, something that would make you root your device and install a china build wait for the stable update we will do a speed test later again and let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye